Yeah, so we look usually for three different things. Um, first, we look for listings that shouldn't be there, right? So let's say you're a plumber um, and you want to rank for, you know, Plumber Baltimore. Um, and there's a listing that's outranking you that's called Plumber Baltimore. Um, and it's not a real company and it shouldn't be there by Google's definition. Let's say, you know, they um, create the listing at someone's house because you can easily um, get addresses on Fiverr and people will accept the postcards for you. So it's quite easy for spammers to create listings um, and they unfortunately do rank very well. Um, so that's probably the, the best type to get rid of because Google usually is pretty swift at acting on that. Um, the second type would be, you know, a business that's a real business, but they're just shoving keywords in their um, listing. So I had a recent case come up on the forum where uh, a BMW dealership near me, um, they put like number one auto dealer in Ontario or whatever. They like shoved all these words into their business titles, which helped it rank. Um, that takes a bit longer to get rid of, but um, essentially it does help ranking. So if someone is uh, is using that tactic, they're going to have a very unfair ranking advantage over you. And then the third type would be fake reviews, which unfortunately is becoming more and more of a common problem where, you know, I'll have a, a business owner and their competitor is buying reviews in mass and, you know, they've got an insane amount of reviews and you're trying to compete while not, you know, stooping to their levels. That can be very challenging as well. All right. So is there, to visualize maybe uh, for people what we're talking about here, is there some um, maybe example you could, you could show us? Yeah. So I'm going to share my screen here and I'll just give you a couple examples here. So up on my screen here, this is a search for water damage Philadelphia. So um, this is a pretty, you know, heavily searched term. Um, if you were a company that did, you know, water restoration, this would definitely be one of the things you'd want to rank for. And you'll see here like the second position, there's this listing that says water damage Philadelphia PA. So I mean, I'm assuming here, didn't check yet, but I'm assuming that is not the real name of this business or, um, you know, a, a real listing that should exist. So, you know, this is where I would normally um, kind of investigate and in pulling up their website. It looks like the, you know, real name of the business is Flood Pros. So, I would start looking to see, okay, does Flood Pros already have another listing? And if they do, this one should just be removed completely. Um, and how you go about, you know, removing a listing is a lot of times I tell people, try to remove it yourself first. Um, you can go to Google Maps and submit an edit. Um, so I'll try and see if I can, I can do that. Um, basically, there's a, a little suggest an edit button that pulls up. And um, on that suggestion edit, you can basically say this is spam or this is like not a real place. Um, and it will uh, submit the edit to Google. But this is all depends on like your trust level and you might have issues getting edits approved. Um, you know, if, if Google doesn't trust you, right? It's your first time doing that. But you can see there's an option on here on Google Maps to dr directly report the listing to Google. Um, that being said, this is always where I'd suggest, you know, doing first, but um, in the case that that doesn't get rid of the listing or doesn't do anything and, you know, Google just automatically rejects the edit, at that point, you would want to contact Google My Business and let them know 